So last time we were helping the Mad Hatter, and last time we didn't have the uh, capture card. That's how long it's been since we've done this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been a hot minute. So now this is going to look significantly better than the last ones. Oh, look, there's a cart over there. Whoop. There we go. Oh, it's tea time, Alice. Whee! Of course it would be a teacup. He's the Mad Hatter. He loves tea. Pennington says, ooh, damn a slam. Hamboy says, last time you guys did this game, it was like three months ago. Yeah, something like that. Four, more, more like. Damn. Yeah. The way we've updated since then is just uh, kind of crazy. Yeah. <coughs> and for people wondering who don't watch us on Twitch, <coughs> that's what that little symbol up is in the right hand corner. We record the screen from the Xbox and Twitch simultaneously. That's why I also put the Twitch uh, handle up there, just because I want you to come by and say hi. <laughs> It's, it's literally not about making money. It's just about having fans. God, that guy just won't shut the fuck up. That's very British. Hey, have a sniff up a lip and stop complaining. Oh my god, he never shuts the fuck up. Okay, me we can upgrade a lot of the weapons, I realized. We have, like... Okay, we can upgrade one of them. Let's go with the blade. We had a lot of teeth we collected. Because this game, you collect teeth. Wait, I think this is, like... Is it pressure sensitive? No? Oh. Exactly no. If I can get up there, nope. Welcome to the lava. Oh, I'm an idiot. Hold on. I forgot how to play this game. Oh, cool. Fucked up bullshit. It's the Mad Hatter, dude. What were you expecting? Well, actually, who's in charge right now is our new leaders. Embrace industry. Embar embrace efficiency. Your new leaders is the rat and the hare. Uh, is it a mouse? I think it might have been a mouse. Rats on cocaine. <laughs> yeah, probably. Wow. Not so little teapots going on here. Oh shit, they heard me. I think I'm supposed to go that way. Ow. 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 Ow! Alright! Oh. Rude. Dodging it. Oh, there we 
bitch. What a good distraction that thing is. It's almost a hack. Gas laid on, Alice. Right. What you say on those bags can put some oil. Remember, her house burned down because of oil. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, let's think how much we can save on beeswax. It's like, yeah, and now you're all dead. Bottle doesn't even give you a memory. I don't understand why. It's like, what's even the point of the bottle then? <coughs> Because are you a widow baby trapped in your widow play space? I don't know. I don't really get what it symbolizes. I'm sure it symbolizes something, because everything symbolizes something. When we get up there, though. Can't jump it. Here we go. Now you use the bottle to go smaller. No, no, that's just a button. <laughs> yeah. We we accessed that like right in the first stream. Uh, it's been a while. Yeah, that's something you just get. There we go. No, the bottle is just literally some fucking dumb collectible. Just an achievement, I suppose. Everybody talks about Wednesday Adams in that new Wednesday show, and I'm like, yeah, no, nah, American Beauty's Alice. It's like her, but without the cringy dance moves. Look, she did a cringe dance. Oh, now every cosplayer, whoever dresses like her, is gonna do it till the end of fucking time. Like that one. I haven't seen Wednesday yet. Ah, don't. It's nothing inspired. It's just, it's pretty much what you expect. Um, it's like that fucking Megan movie with, like, the killer robot AI little girl thing, and then she does the creepy dance in the hallway or whatever. It's like, I didn't see that. Nah, it's just, it's dumb. And then, like, a bunch of girls dr dress like her and then do the dance in a flash bob, and it's like, Man! You guys need a hobby. Like a real one. Like what we do. Because we're better than you. <laughs> All of those teapots want to I'm see I'm a little you. teapot, sure and stuff. I'm gonna fucking give you 30 degree burns. That's how it goes, right? Oh, shit. Just teapot eyeball thingy. Wait, I heard a snorting. <coughs> what? Okay. Trying to speak its language. Where are you? I don't see it. Whatever. Box of this. Other games are like, push the box in to, to, to figure out the puzzle. This game's just like, destroy boxes as you fucking should. Wait until I get the hippity hop. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Uh. When you haven't nutted in a while, it just comes out all thick and hot. 
they're just like, ah! Oh! Woo! Oh, Jesus. Sweet. Suspenseful music. Oh shit, here they come. Sucks to be you, homie. <laughs> Alright. Unless he's about to pop through that fucking door, you can chill. That's good whiskey. Don't make me kill the music. There you go. I find that happening in the Elder Scrolls as well, where like an enemy will chase you for far too long. Got the no go. I wonder if GTA 6 will ever come out. Because, like, they've been trying to retroactively take all their ideas for the DLC plans for the campaign and turn them into online modes. Okay, seriously, though. Seriously, though? Shut the fuck up with that music. Like, oh my god. I'm sorry I skipped out on the boss battle rather than stand there and get my ass smacked around, okay? Excuse the fuck out of me. I'm done with that. Trying to talk about video games. Uh, anyways. Like, um... Michael's DLC, which is the only one they haven't retroactively designed into a, li uh, a live version online, uh, is the uh, zombie apocalypse. Because, mm. uh... Trevor was going to work for the government, the IAA, which is uh, one of them, that's, that came out, um... Franklin was going to deal with aliens, which we had for Halloween. So maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, oh, look at that big ass eye over there. Maybe this Halloween, maybe that's when we finally get the zombies. Am I supposed to shoot the eye? No. Okay, just checking. Where am I supposed to go? Was I not supposed to come this way? What was I supposed to do? This doesn't make any sense. Or is the pig somewhere right? Oh, wait, no, it's right there. Oh. Is, it, is the pig somewhere I could shoot it? That's why we came in. Marching band ass music. Yeah, that was way too much. The music in this game's good. I'll probably turn it on later again, but it was clearly glitchy. Yeah. Yeah. It's not bad music. It's just like, okay, there's no action. Chill. It's like in Skyrim when a rat is chasing you for like five miles and you're like, okay, but also shut up. This game is a little haunting without music, too. Oh, whoa, hey now, there we go. Oh, sounds like they're doing a little work out there on the pipes. Yeah. Hopefully by the end of the day, it'll all be done. The hot water system and everything. Where where are we still going? Why do you still think I used to be in trouble? Wait a minute. Where the fuck am I? Was I already here? What the fuck? What is... No, wait. What's going on? Huh? Okay. Right. And then we go up over here. Oh... There we go. Ha cha cha. Oh man, do you remember moles? 
like taking moles in a bong. Do you remember what that is? So basically, for a while, there was like this trend where people would smoke weed and tobacco through a bong in like one hit. So basically, you pack just enough where it's like the ratio you like it. Me, I prefer a little more weed than tobacco, but you put the tobacco on top or like you layer it and it like burns the weed faster. Basically, you just take this fat hit of weed and tobacco that just gets you fucking high as fuck and you get like like the shivering like that that shivering like elevated feeling through your body and stuff but it's super bad for you one time a friend packed it for me and she packed it not how i would pack it like 20 to 80 weed on top with like a like a bunch of tobacco on the bottom and it holy shit i was literally so fucked from that I had to like lay down outside in the cold, on the cold, because I was sweating from it. And that was the last time I ever took those fucking things. Uh, lesson to be learned, don't smoke tobacco out of, like, when they call it a wa uh, tobacco water pipe, you know? Remember when you had to go to, to, to shops and you couldn't call it a bong, you had to call it a tobacco water pipe? Like, as if it fucking matters. It's what I always hate about our world. Like, when I got arrested in 2020 on, on uh. Christmas, right? That guy said to me, he was threatening to catch me outside. I'm going to catch you outside. Like, middle-aged, clearly has been in a gang Mexican dude, saying he's going to catch me outside. But because I said that I'm going to stab him, even though he was threatening me first, I was the one who got arrested. Because I said I would stab him, even though... what. What do you think he's going to do when he catches me outside, officer? Give me some tickles. Give me a little cuddle. Give me a little sucky sucky. I even said, like, they let me go a half hour later. They didn't even put me behind bars. Because they even said this. I'm like, what do you think that meant, dude? He's going to give me a little sucky sucky. You're police officers. You should know what these terminologies mean. And when I said the word terminology, they're like, like, oh, yeah, I'm not an idiot. Yeah, big surprise, asshole. Just because I live in fucking downtown Watsonville doesn't mean I'm some fucking loser or delinquent. Okay, maybe I am a loser, but I'm not a delinquent. Okay, maybe I am a delinquent. But listen, I am still better than you, because I'm not a fucking pig. I nearly fought them off, too, man. I fucking, I really don't like cops. My grandfather was one. He was abusive to the whole family, except for my uncle and his sons, because they all like sports. So they had value. I was a theater kid. So, you know, I don't have value to this world because I I apparently don't know how to throw a ball, even though I fucking do. I do. I can throw a football. I can throw a baseball. Um, even though you're not really supposed to, I can I could throw a soccer ball. It's just a ball. A ball is a ball. The football is only the thing that's a little different just because of its shape. Yeah. But a ball is a fucking ball. I could dribble a basketball. I could shoot. I just can't, like, outpace other athletes because I'm not that kind of athletic. But if we're just talking what I can do with my arms, I can do a lot of things with my arms. Ladies. Wait, what? Yeah, I stand by that statement. This sure cat has nine lives, Alice. I hope you have as many. Giving him the finger while I did that. What do you think of that, bitch? I would love to, after we do this one, go back and do the first game again. See, what's really funny, and I might mention this if we do it, is I got a comment from somebody, um, where was it? On the, the full stream, they're just like, I love that one of you is only the one who really talks. <laughs> Good video. And I'm just like, well, this is way earlier in our career when you, as funny as you are, you weren't comfortable on the mic yet. And now you've become much more comfortable with the concept. Ugh. You just gotta think of more stories to talk about, more things. Make a list. Basically, if you think of something to talk about, write it down. Bring it up. I'm gonna start doing that too. Because, like, the more we can do, the better it is. Like, that's why, like, during Fallout 76 and stuff, when we are playing with Rat and Fox, I'll, like, prod them a little bit with, like, topics just to pull something out of them. It's like pulling water out of a fucking stone. But I'm able to do it because I'm a goddamn moisture farmer. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> okay, that, in my head right there, that's where that video is going to cut.
And then we can go into this next part. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh shit. <laughs> Over, overbalanced, and it tried to jump. Bust my ass into pieces. Oh shit! I sucked a dick. Put a cock in my mouth. Don't give a fuck if I fucking barf. That doesn't rhyme. This is my last resort. Because I'm losing my sight, losing my mind. Oh, I wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. Maybe I'm losing my sight, losing my mind. That didn't work. I wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. I think I was supposed to pull a lever. Yep. I didn't even turn the valve. <laughs> Hi, my name's Harlan. I'm a fucking idiot. This is D. He laughs at me. <laughs> oh, that is funny. There we go. That all makes way more sense now. I'm like, that's a hell of a fucking jump to have to do. Oh, shit. Hi, boys. Tea goblins. They want to gobble your bits. And they're here to give you tea. They're here to give me some tea bags. Oh, that's right. I see now. is over here just in case we miss anything. Oh look see we don't want to miss all that. Teeth. You know it's like that dream you have when your teeth fall out. You ever have that dream? Nope. Really? That's weird. I have it all the time. I have it so often I'm gonna try to learn how to like so when you lucid dream there's a trigger. Mm -hmm. Like, and I want that to be it. When my teeth fall out, like I just spit out a bunch of little tic tacs, that's when I should know I'm dreaming. Yeah, no. Used to be, I would just like, I, a tooth would come out, and eventually it got to the point where, it, it, like, I know I'm dreaming, but I still can't hit that lucid point, and then I'll wake up. Like I'll flash through a bunch of shit. It's like it's almost there, and I really want it to happen. But also, I hate dreaming because I find it really annoying. Because I have moments where I'm like, did I dream that or did that actually happen? Like, that shit uh, happens to me. That's why I smoke weed. Like, I will smoke weed before going to bed. Right before I go to bed, take a fat hit, go to sleep. Then when I wake up to take a piss, before I go back to sleep, take another fat hit. If I wake up again to roll over, I'll take another fat hit. Just to stop me from hitting REM sleep. Because I, And that's what it does, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. It stops. I'm just, I s fucking hate dreaming. Martin Luther King's like, ah, I had a dream, and I'm just like, I didn't, I was smoking too much weed, and it, dreams suck. They're always weird and confusing. Oh, you mean the metaphorical kind. Oh, yeah, sure. I have one, too. It's that, uh, um, everybody stops being a dick. Which is basically your dream, your but just less unwelcome. eloquent. We have a right? I have a dream that everybody stops being a fucking prick. Leave each other alone. Stop giving a fuck about somebody's skin color, what they're up to, what they're dressed like. Shut the fuck up, motherfucker. It's like uh, that Pink Guy song from uh, Filthy Frank. Shut the fuck up. You're a fucking cunt. Shut the fuck up. You're a fucking cunt. Suck my dick. Yeah. Well, that's all fucking very uh, uh, panic inducing. God damn it. Stop moving. <laughs> Piss in my ass. Piss in my ass. It's uh. like this in my ass.
and explode. Oh my god. Oh, this must be fun for you being all orange and red. Yeah. Hey, look, that's yellow. And yeah, you can see that. Oh my god. No! <laughs> You're about ah. to swimming again. Oh. Ow. What the? Fucking slugs and boxes. You know, oh, I, I totally thought we left that crap behind with Elden Ring. Yeah, now, dude, this predates Elden Ring. Wait, American McGee Alice is the Elden Ring of Alice games? I like no. One of those clickbait titles. Well, strictly speaking, the, the Elden Ring of well, Alice games? Really I'm totally titling that if I remember that. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure to write that down to remember it. <laughs> the Elden Ring of Alice games? <laughs> With like three question marks, all caps, get like a face of like. <laughs> just to just to hit that fucking algorithm, dude. It makes people mad too because then they'll hear this bit. And they'll be like, "Oh, that's what you're talking about." Uh, it's like, dude, have you ever tried to play the algorithm? Like, I love getting comments of people criticizing how I do my channel, do my videos, run my shit. It's like, you don't even make anything. You're just an anonymous nobody with, like, a handle that was just given to you. Like a like a person on Xbox who couldn't even be bothered to make their own fucking gamer tag. Like, get out of here. You're, you're a pleb. You're a pleb and I hate you. <laughs> like, that's all you are. You're just basic. Like, people who, like, pride themselves on being PlayStation players. Ooh, wow, ooh, cool. You had an extra $300. Good for you. Like, you still don't own a car. You still live with your fucking parents. You still don't know how to eat pussy properly. But yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, you're right, you're right. You're fucking cool, bro. Oh, was he the one shooting shit at me? That was that sound. He can't hit me, though, because he's all the way over there like an idiot. Oh my god. You know, eventually one day we might actually get popular and then people are going to watch a lot of these back catalog videos. Oh god. I can't wait for the animations. That's what I really want. I can't wait because like, like they do with Game Grumps and whatnot. I just want to be animated, bro. And I like, I mean, people know what I look like, but if you're wondering what D looks like, you know, you know, Animal from the Muppets? Yeah, like that. <laughs> you know who I'm talking Seriously? about, right? Come on. Muppets Animal. Yeah, him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, we should get you an animal Muppet, and then when we do, like, me on camera, we can have you to the side. Like, ah. Ah. Uh. Ah. <laughs> It's not inaccurate, though. I mean, fair, I look like a fat Harry Potter, you know. Or like, uh, what's, what's, uh, what's Beaker's boss's name? Benson? Benson Honeydew. Yeah, like him, but not bald. Actually, that guy looks like uh, the guy who plays Ed from <laughs> the Spider-Man movies. You know what I'm talking about? Um, oh, Ned, not Ed, Ned. You know the, uh, the what is he? Ned Flanders? No, no. Ned from the Spider-Man movies, you know. Oh. The fat, uh, the fat guy. But have you ever seen him without the wig? Because he wears a wig. I don't know if it's because he's going bald. Or if he just shaves his head and he doesn't want to bother growing out hair. 
But he's actually older than Tom Holland is significantly, but he looks very young for his age. Which, I mean, good work if you can fucking get it, right? You know, it's always it's always the people with, like, the mixed uh, family genes that just, like, get that, that young look. You know, right. that's why you don't want a pure... <laughs> This is terrible. This is a terrible analogy, but it's like with purebred dogs. You know? If you have, like, a pure white person, they're going to have a lot of health problems. That's why you got to get a little jungle fever. You got to mix it up a little bit. Basically, we need that future in South Park where everybody's all a shade of tan. Oh, uh, That's what I'm going for, you know? Took our jobs. <laughs> they took our dad. They come from the future. And they took our dad. Because there's no jobs in the future, so they go the past. I that was a love that terrible one. episode. Oh, I love it though. I guess we're all just gonna have to be gay uh-huh. until they stop showing up. That shit was so fucking funny. That was yes. And they finally stop appearing, and they're like, "All like, right, what? so I guess we won, right? <laughs> we, we, we did it. We all went gay enough for the human race not to continue being populated." <laughs> so stupid. And then, I don't remember who, then the one voice is like, does that mean we have to stop? You know who this reminds me of? Um, the, the, the pleasure robot, the, the fat one, what heathenism bot. Oh. Oh, Jesus, Alice. Fuck, I just turned back to look at the screen and she's just fucking staring into our souls. Here we go. Ah, damn it. Her face disappears. Man, it's good detail for a 360 game. I would love to have the next game, but I don't think it's ever going to happen, man. Mm. So, uh, America McGee's Alice Asylum. The reason it can't happen is because EA basically just took the rights away from McGee. And let me tell you what. If I had the money and the power, I'd go logistically beat the shit out of EA, take that IP out of their cold, dead hands... And present it to him on a golden platter. Not silver. Golden. And be like, this is yours now. Please don't lose it again. Because I will not do this a second time. Like, I love McGee. He, he's a genius. He really is. He's brilliant. It's just, uh... It's unfortunate nobody can respect brilliance anymore. Which way am I going? Oh, yeah. I'm just going up here. See, he's brilliant. I'm an idiot. You gotta switch over there. I know. I was just thinking if anything else did anything. But then... Well, he got his arms back. I'm sure he'll be really grateful about it. And totally not a dick. Uh. Whee!